Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mark. In this video, I want to talk about this just um, pressure that this high frequency energy, um, our soul's energy, as it moves through us, this pressure it creates, this feeling of just, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. How do I deal with this? So if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I release new videos. Um, we just continue to be, to be we're, we're in this ascension spiral and, and things are kind of accelerating here. And this high frequency energy, these waves keep coming and they are showing us everything that is in the way. Um, obviously we see the density, the dense energy kind of splattered out in our reality, right? Things are looking really funky, really weird. Talked about that in last um, video last week, um, but um, it's gonna continue on for some time now. We are being shown everything that is in the way of our soul's energy coming up into our experience. Think of it as the manifestation of new earth, right? Um, we have been in this dense control structure for eons, really. Humanity has fallen um, in consciousness. So we are simply returning to where we once were. Um, everything that we experience, everything we see in our reality that we rely on, that we give our power to, is simply dense energy um, from programming that we have. It's manifesting. Um, this, this programming is manifesting. This dense energy is coming up. We're seeing things that we're being shown um, to let go of by our soul. Okay. So um, the ego wants to hang on to old power structures, basically take responsibility away and off it to some other entity. Okay. Be it the government, whatever. Um, religion, healthcare, anything, whatever it may be. Um, these are power structures, control structures, this 3D dense energy that is falling apart. We are being called to take our power back, to take responsibility back. Um, how do we do that? Well, we have to first detach from those, those emotions, those thoughts, those traumas, right? Um, and realize that everything is energy. What we're seeing and experiencing when we're focusing on something that doesn't feel good, there's a dense energy that is present and active within us that we are being called to heal, to clear. How do we do that? We get aligned. We get aligned. We become present and we sit and we feel that. Every time we try to offer responsibility and submit to an energy that is present, um, that we are feeling because of anxiety, because we're uncertain about the future, whatever it may be, we give our power away. We are not sitting with that. What we're doing is it's a band-aid. We're temporarily relieving these feelings of fear and anxiety by complying with something, whatever it may be. Um, on a 3D perspective, from an energetic perspective, we're aligning or dropping our frequency to these dense energetic frequencies, okay, these lower vibrational frequencies. Um, and when we do that, our ego finds a place of comfort and we feel better for a time until it comes up again because our soul is going to always push these lessons forward, right? So it's time we feel, okay? The key to getting through this and just like any dark night of the soul is to be present, to stop resisting the process and be present with the emotions. And we, we remember that everything's energy. Um, we're being guided into these pro these programmed emotions, these traumas to feel and process them once and for all. Okay, instead of putting a Band-Aid on them to come back up later. That's what humanity has been doing for millennia, for eons. Okay, that's, that's what created this kind of power control structure that everybody feels um, controls them. Okay, that is not the truth. The truth of the reality is that we are all energetic beings and the reality we create is simply a reality based on the frequencies that we have active and choose to align with within our body. So the soul's coming through right now. I mean, this is go time, guys. This is ascension time. Um, it's all being reflected up and out to be felt. We'll see something that doesn't resonate, that doesn't feel good. That's our soul telling us, you need to sit with this. You need to feel this. So it comes up as a story in reality, a situation, a trigger, whatever it may be, time to sit and feel that. Um, that's really all we need to do. When we, once we could do that, we start to feel a release, a detachment from these emotions. We create space. We're able to observe them. We realize that they're not us. This is just traumatic programming. And we are here right now to deal with that. Okay. So we create that space and we then sit with the emotions. And when we do that and breathe with it and ground, 
we're going to feel it release. There's going to be a release we're going to feel. And we're going to start to feel lighter. That is our frequency rising. That is more of your higher self, your divine energy flowing through your body, okay? And grounding here into this physical vessel. That's what this process is all about. When we, when we resist that process, we age faster. We get sick, um, you know, illness, aches, pains, all sorts of things in the physical body creep up. Because at that point, um, when we're not getting it, the physical body says, hey, you know, it directs us back in, right? And that could be through aches and pains, joint stuff, back pain, reflux, whatever it may be, illness, uh, disease, if we ignore it long enough. Okay, right? So um, the body is showing us that we got to come back in here and sit and be present and release all this, this stuff, okay, this dense energy, right? That's why this reality is here. This matrix is here to give us an opportunity to um, have these experiences, feel these the, the density and release these experiences that we've been holding on to lifetime after lifetime after lifetime, these traumas, right? We've kind of put the Band-Aid on and tucked them away. Well, we're getting moved into a situation now where there's really no escape. Um, there's no longer an, or an option really to put that stuff back in the pocket and feel it later. We're going to be forced to feel it now. And the more you resist that, the more situations you're going to be moved into that are going to further increase that. Okay. And that's the division of the two timelines. So you make a choice to either, um, you know, continue to align with the dense energy and you're going to move off again into 3D and not hop over into 5D new earth or you start at this juncture here and you sit and you be present and you feel and you process these emotions and you keep in mind that it's all energy and you sit and you just allow it to be. The key here is to not resist. We're going to see a lot of crazy stuff happening. It's all kind of, we've come to this precipice where it's just all coming up at once. Um, and it's going to feel like a ride. I mean, it really is. There's no way, there's no way around that, but if you've been doing the work, doing the grounding, doing the breath work that I teach um, and things of that nature, you're going to be able to really stay stable and aligned. Your, your energy is going to be more stabilized during this process, and you're going to have an easier time finding your center and remaining anchored. Okay. And as we do that, we help ourselves, but we also help those in the collective that are, are really struggling right now. So um, we have to hold compassion for those that are struggling with the 3D programming that are kind of giving their power away to the powers that be, okay? The illusion of the powers that be. Um, we need to be able to be that beacon of light of stability so that they can find that in their reality. And that represents a reflection of their soul. So we're, we have an opportunity to show those who are ready to awaken, um, show them their soul so that they can literally start to go inside it and reconnect with that. and take their power back and take control over their own healing process and, and really work to release their traumas. That's where we as light workers can really step up and assist in this process. So um, if this video resonated with you guys, please give it a thumbs up again, that will help the algorithm get it out to more people. Um, leave a comment below. Love to hear from you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share it. Please share this video. If you know um, in any groups, whatever you're members of, um, share it with people that you know it can help. I would greatly appreciate it. So until next time, guys, love and light.